Hey, hey. So, I cannot explain the amount of times that I tried to make this. The audio, I'm praying to God that when I go and I check this over, that the audio is fine. Because I had to freaking redo this video like four times because of the freaking audio. But, um, anyway, I'm gonna show you how to get money on Lyoden pretty easily. Um,. It's it's easy, but it's just repetitive, and um, but it works. So why the hell not? Um, so first things first thing is first. Whenever you're playing Lyoden, you should have your hunters hunting. Why? Because when your hunters hunt, they get food, and with that food, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay, with that food, you will stockpile it. Um, if you're hunting all the time, unless you have like a million lionesses, uh, then you should have excess food, extra food that you don't need. And especially if you're hunting all the time, um, you're always getting in more and more. So you, you, your pride should be good, should be solid, right? So what you want to do is stockpile a lot of that food. You're going to run to the trading center over here and you're going to hit create a new trade. And you're going to write a hundred uses of food. Alright, and then you're going to scroll down here, put in a hundred uses of your food, and hold on, let me see if I can find a food item. Right here, see, turtle eggs, two uses, alright? So that would be 20 silver beetles, because we're going to put every use is 10 silver beetles, um, but turtle eggs is a bad example, because it's a small food, but anyway, once you have that up, you're going to put it for one golden beetle or a thousand silver beetles and then you're going to create your trade and um, I have one set up already so here's mine um, so you want to make sure that this trade is at the top so bump it like I just did whenever you can to get your trade higher up on the trading center here so now look it's at the top right there and when people need food they'll come and they'll see it and hopefully buy it um one thing that i'll mention always put the buyout price no matter how many uses you're selling even if you're selling like 50 uses of food and it's set to 500 set it to one golden beetle because what's going to happen is 80 percent of the time people are going to buy out the golden beetle one and i do not know why but people just do this i don't know if that's just me if anybody else has this strategy and they realize that people spend golden beetles opposed to silver beetles, let me know because maybe I'm just lucky and people, I get people that like to spend golden beetles. Um, watch just one sell for silver beetles now that I said that, but yeah, so you're going to put this trade up, one gold beetle, yes. So then, let's say it sells and you get that one golden beetle, right? What you're going to want to do, you're going to run to Oasis now, after that. And you're going to scroll all the way down here. And you're going to find an item called the Cat and Root Bark. And this guy is going to be your friend for a little while. So you're going to want to buy one of these, right? Buy it. I am not going to buy it because I, I don't want to do this right now. But you're going to buy it, right? And then you're going to run the crossroads. You're going to go to Exploring. And you're going to explore until, I didn't mean to kill it, frick, um, you're going to explore until you find a lioness, um, and of course, my luck, I'm not going to find one, um, but anyway, let's say you got, uh, what is this, okay, let's say this is your lioness, that your NCL that you just got, right, and she's in heat pretend she's in heat so you're gonna get her pregnant and then she's pregnant um you're not gonna make a nest don't make a nest because then after that you're gonna go to your horde you're gonna find that cotton root bark um because i don't have one i'm gonna pretend with a lion meat right and you're gonna find that lion's name and then use it on that lion and you're gonna get a little text that pops up saying that your lion's no longer pregnant and she's not upset that she's no longer pregnant because um because it was she was just newly pregnant, right? So then you're gonna go to that lioness. Um, 
Oh, awesome. First try. Um, I knew one of them had a had one of these up. And she used to say something along the lines there that she's she has a fair chance of getting a mutated club. Um, this is a lion meat. This is what the lion meat says, but I'm pretty sure the cotton root bark says something similar like that, that um, she's there. Um, then you could either put up the trade right away or you could wait three days. And in three days she'll be in heat. And you will probably be tempted as a new player to breed her to try to get a mutated lion, but it is not worth it. It's not worth it that early on. Um, because let's double your money first. <laughs> so then go to the trade center and you're going to type NCO with CRB. And you're going to put two golden beetles there and you're going to select the lion with it and boom. And then you're going to set up that trade and sell that lioness. And she should sell, um, before she falls out of heat. Um, if she doesn't sell, then that's just, I guess, bad luck because a lot of people buy these out pretty quickly because they're impatient. They don't want to wait three days, so they're just going buy CRB uh, NCLs. Um, but like I said, remember to keep doing this and bumping, bumping trades because when you do that, it will bring that trade right up to the top and everybody looking at this page is going to see it, you know, is going to see that. Like, look. I like buying Chase NCLs, and I just saw that because I was just sitting on the page. And actually, I'm gonna buy her. What the hell? She's pretty. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I wanted her. Um. So yeah, that's two ways of making money, or those two ways: selling food, and then the NCL. The NCL one is a little bit easier, um, because once you sell the food and you have that one GB, you keep doubling the one GB with the NCL one. Um, so another thing you could do is, depending on what event it is, you have event, event currency. And there's a lot of different things that people are going to say about, um, event currency. Some people might tell you to sell your event currency, and some people may tell you, uh, buy this item and then sell that item, um, to get money for that item or whatever, right? So the first thing that people, the first one of selling it, I don't recommend, and I'm gonna tell you why right now. So, um, let's find, oh, the top one, perfect. Um, actually, this is a perfect example. Um, see how this person here is selling 300 dry bones for five golden beetles. Um, oh, perfect. And this person down here is buying 10 golden beetles worth of the dry bones so he's gonna get 600 dry bones this event um there's breeding items and i do not recommend selling your event currency when breeding items are in the mix because those are things that are worth a lot um so see so he's probably gonna spend this give her 10 golden beetles right or him 10 golden beetles and they're gonna get 600 dry bones from this person but i guarantee you this vamp person is going to come to the peddler shop right and tell them that they want a buffalo scrotum right for the 600 dry bones and this buffalo scrotum is worth a lot more than just 10 golden beetles this person is losing 10 golden beetles probably um because when you go and you search here you search buffalo scrotum and it pops up there right you're gonna go and search it and first there's the onslaught of 999 sps ignore that yeah look at this the cheapest one 17 golden beetles so she's losing seven golden beetles right there when she could just go herself and sell it for this price or one golden beetle cheaper so people will buy it quicker so i don't recommend selling your beetles and i don't mean a shame on those two users um, because there's a lot of different reasons. Maybe the person selling it just needs the golden beetles pretty quickly. Um, because maybe their hair is about to die and they need to, they need to use the funds to get a new, new king. Um, so you never know why people do it. Um, they could just be doing it because they want to be nice. Um, and yeah. So with event stuff as well, um, sometimes 
it's okay to sell these or like it's, it, you're not going to lose money selling these because what you could also do um the keratin beetles are only used right now to buy decoration and if you don't like decorating your lions and you don't see a use for decoration items by all means go sell those keratin beetles because it's better to sell them than just to let them sit unless you want to save them all up and maybe in a later month they'll be like a rare applicator or something i don't know but that's up to you whatever you want to do um same with selling these if you want to sell them then go for it but it's probably more profitable each time to, to buy the item yourself and then sell it for a later month for a higher price because that 17 golden beetle buffalo scrotum item um i've seen buffy balls go up to 30 golden beetles so if you just hang on to that item for a little bit longer after the months pass, the value will increase because they're getting used up in game and there's less of them in game so there's a more demand for them most of the time um yeah so that's the way to make money through events and then there is another way to make this one is a little bit of a gamble and it's up to you if you like to join raffles or not but i recommend joining a clan right and most active clans will have raffles and you could get five golden beetles right here for 10 silver beetles or however tickets you buy um, with silver beetles. Now this my clan, uh, Primitive Primals, is a pretty big clan so you have a lower chance of winning here than opposed to joining a smaller clan for example squeak clean lions right here you go to their clan raffles right and you see there's considerably less amount of people joining their raffles but for a similar similar uh it's actually a little bit more expensive but you would get this for a dwarf which is a is a mutation a lion mutation which you could sell as well for maybe i don't know like five golden beetles right now um because the prices right now for dwarfs are bad um, so I'm not sure. I'm not too sure of how much a dwarf is worth, but definitely more than two golden beetles, but so my chances of winning here are much higher than in my actual clan because there's more people. Um, but what I will say for my larger clan, we have more funds, so we're able to give away more and we do give away a lot. Um, if you go on our disc, if you join the clan and go on our discord, we have giveaways all the time. Um, well, not all the time, but frequently. Uh, for a thousand silver beetles and you literally don't have to do anything but click and there's not a thousand people in the discord <laughs> so you don't have um, as much competition as you do here but there is still a good amount but again you're not spending any money for giveaways um, and yeah and the last way to make money um, not everybody can do it um, if you're good at art and you like doing art and you think that you're a decent artist or a really good artist I recommend going down here to art sales and create a thread and sell your art because Lyodon players love 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 to spend uh, to spend money on art um, for example look this guy has a freaking wait list Hold on, I wanna, let's see what he's what he's doing so he's making these icons or she's making these icons um and oh man look at this look at all these slots here that's crazy they have all these people and they're making they must be making so much uh they they must be making some decent amount of money doing all those commissions um which is nice cuz if you're if you like doing art then you're doing something you like and you're getting golden beetles out of it and you're practicing too, which is cool. So, um, yeah. Those are the many different ways that I've found that you can make money. Oh, another thing. If you're the type of person that spends money a lot and when you see that you have a decent amount of money that you want to use it right away, um, Loudon actually has something to help you. <laughs> if you go to Hoard and you click here to, uh, to Bundles, right you could put your money for example let's pretend i don't want to spend a thousand silver beetles i could write don't spend to myself right 
and create a bundle and now that thousand is in there and I don't see it and it's more of an out of sight out of mind type of thing so you forget it's there um, right and yes those are the starting tips I recommend for making money if you're curious about how I made um, all the money that I, I have right now on Lyoden, it is from hybrids um, during the February event. When the February event gets closer, if people want it, I'll make a little quote unquote tutorial because I end up writing one anyway for my clan every month about February of how not to get scammed and how to make money during the February event because the February event is a very important event. It's where people usually make a lot of money, make no money, or they get friggin' cool ass lions. So, yeah. I'll make the video if you guys want me to next year, next February. Let me know. <laughs> alright, alright, bye.